Welcome back in, guys. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we'll be discussing the New York Jets and who I believe is potentially their best player. Uh, before we get into it, be sure to subscribe, uh, drop a comment, and leave a like. It really does help out the channel. But let's dive right into it. We're talking about the 25-year-old product out of Stephen F. Austin. That is John Franklin Myers. He was drafted by the Los Angeles Rams and made a huge play in the Super Bowl, strip sacking Tom Brady. He even helped win a game during that 2018 season, strip sacking Kirk Cousins to seal the deal on Thursday Night Football against the Vikings. He has actually shown each year flashes of brilliance, but this past year, he really came into his own. We don't really know why to this day, why the Rams cut him, but we do know that he has made himself known, his presence felt in New York. And so before we get into that, I just want to highlight John Franklin Myers. Entering year four of his career, he just signed a four-year, $55 million deal uh, that will make him a Jet until 2026. He has the fourth highest cap hit on the Jets, and he had the highest grade of any Jets player last year, according to PFF. Now, you may find yourself thinking, okay, I kind of agree with your point. You know, he might actually be the best Jets player. But this is somebody that is really turning himself into potentially the face of the Jets. I mean, obviously, you talk about, you know, Zach Wilson and, you know, franchise quarterbacks are always going to be the face. But Zach Wilson has to get there. John Franklin Myers is already there, and if you don't believe me, the stats presented really tell the story. The guy led the team in pressures with 53, he had 6 sacks, and he was 17th graded by PFF among all edge defenders in the league. Clearly, this guy has a fast track towards success, and we saw it his rookie year on the Rams, when he actually won the Rookie of the Year for the Rams. But, in addition to that, we look at this season. Take away 2020, 2019, we look at this season, and when you look at it, most pressures on the team, that's impressive. Highest graded player on the team, offense or defense, according to PFF, that's impressive. The second highest run defender, only behind Jason Pinnock, the safety, that's impressive, okay? The Jets realize how good he is. That is why they signed him. This, they were not going to let this guy go, and they were not going to cut him like the Rams did. He can play inside, he can play outside, and sure enough, while he hasn't sacked the quarterback a ton, only getting the six, only getting the quarterback six times to Quinnen Williams, the leader on the team, and sacks seven times, he makes his presence felt. He he attacks the backfield. He causes chaos, and that is a big thing that we see today with the way the league is turning, getting that presence interior. On the edge, it's very important. And that is something that John Franklin Myers has done extremely well. He's second on the Jets in sacks. He's second on the Jets in quarterback hits. <coughs> and he's first on the Jets. In quarterback hurries. Like I said, he's gotten better every year. He was top five on the team in lowest. Uh, he was top five on the team in lowest missed tackle percentage. And on top of that, we talked about 17th among edge defenders. He was 19th in the league in edge pressures. John Franklin Meyer simply put has been huge for this team. He's going to be huge for this team moving forward. And now you have him, you have Quentin Williams, Sheldon Rankins, you have all sorts of talent all over the defensive line. Now Carl Lawson is going to be back. You have to feel good about what's around him. You you have to feel good about what's around him. Um, and I think he's only going to get better. Being with a defensive-minded head coach in Robert Sala, I think is definitely going to help. And I think at the end of the day, when you look at him playing alongside Quentin Williams, I think that's also going to help him as well. John Franklin Myers is exactly what the Jets need. He's exactly what the Jets needed, and they were able to acquire him. But what can he do in 2022? Can he be that much better? 
or are we looking at similar stats? Because in my mind, you go out and you add a corner, in my opinion, the best corner by far in the NFL draft in Sauce Gardner. You're now making it harder for a quarterback to get to his wide receiver. We saw this implemented with the Los Angeles Rams. Going out and getting Jalen Ramsey and getting those type of corners cuts down how much time the quarterback has to throw it. If you are if you have a corner that is shutting down a receiver and the receiver can't get open, that play is being extended because the quarterback still has the ball. You're doing a good job. And now that complements the pass rush and they're able to get there quicker. And that is exactly what I expect this year with not only Sauce Gardner, but also DJ Reed, an emerging Bryce Hall, and an emerging Michael Carter II. That's the thing, okay? That is the thing right there. Brandon Eccles you could throw in there as well. The Jets are making it easier on their pass rush to get there. And Franklin Myers knows how to rush the passer. He did it and got to the, the passer 53 times last year, rushing him, pressuring him. But I expect it to continue to go up this year and beyond. This is not somebody that is going to peak. He is going into year four with a contract. He now feels wanted here. I think he always felt wanted here. He likes the situation. and I don't blame him. And on top of that, just his skill set. When the Rams drafted him as Stephen F. Austin, we knew he was this diamond in the rough that they really liked. We don't know why they cut him. But we do know why they wanted him. He is an NFL player, and with NFL coaching, he's become a contributor past just being a starter. He is a above-average starter, and I think he can become a high-level starter and, who knows, maybe even see a Pro Bowl. He is going to be huge for the Jets, a team that has considered to... He is going to be huge for the Jets and for a team that is... I would say on the rise players like this, when you get them this young and at 25, they're, they're having this type of contribution to your roster. That's too good. He has not even entered his prime yet. You could argue maybe he has, but it's the beginning of his prime and he's already shown you what he can do as a top 20 edge defender, as a leader on the team in pressures. PFF is loving him. I'm loving him. I'm sure you guys are loving him. You watch the film, it's hard not to. He's got a myriad of moves. He can use his speed well. He's very quick. He's elusive. He can bend. He can contort his body. He's got great hand usage. Those are the things you like to see. Those are the things that you very much like to see. And John Franklin Myers is going to make a lot of Jets fans happy this year and beyond because I can tell you right now coming into this season I think with what they did in the secondary I think another year with the Jets another year with NFL coaching I think he's just going to continue to climb this mountaintop and I think we're looking at a potential pro bowler down the road but that's my thoughts on the 25 year old John Franklin Myers I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to like subscribe and comment if you didn't know who he was make sure to check out number 91, John Franklin Myers. That's all I got, guys. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.